MAPS, the methodology for assessing procurement systems, is an international standard and the universal tool to evaluate any public procurement system anywhere in the world. Public procurement represents a large part of public spending. To provide essential public services, such as hospitals, roads and schools, governments worldwide spend approximately 9.5 trillion US dollars in public contracts every year, which represents between 6% and 20% of the respective country's GDP. By using their purchasing power, governments can contribute to sustainability goals and boost innovation. Procurement must continuously improve to effectively deliver goods and services in a way that is both sustainable and inspires trust among citizens. The strengthening of public procurement systems is central to ensuring that public money is well spent and institutions operate effectively. But how can governments assess how well their procurement systems are performing? MAPS is the solution. It is a recognized assessment that evaluates how well public procurement systems work. It can be used at any level of government and by any country, regardless of their level of development. Originally created in 2003 by the OECD and the World Bank, MAPS was updated in 2018 and has already been successfully applied in many countries across the world. The MAPS methodology helps identify strengths and weaknesses of a public procurement system. It provides an analytical basis for concrete and targeted reforms, and it ensures their effective implementation by developing action plans. By showing what works and what does not, MAPS can support countries in implementing efficient, sustainable and more inclusive public procurement systems, while also improving integrity and promoting transparent use of public funds. The methodology consists of several elements. A broad country context analysis to frame the assessment. Four pillars comprise of 14 indicators and 55 sub-indicators to assess the procurement system as a whole. Guidance and templates to support the assessment and supplementary modules to focus analysis on a specific aspect. But how do the assessments work? Several steps have to be followed. The preparation of a concept note, including objectives and logistical arrangements. The analysis of the country context. The commencement of the assessment and the development of recommendations. The validation of the main findings. The preparation of a final report which includes recommendations on how to address the gaps found. And a quality assurance process conducted throughout the assessment by the Assessments Technical Advisory Group and the MAP Secretariat. If a report fulfills the conditions for receiving the MAP's seal of approval, it is then published on the MAP's website. The MAP Secretariat offers ongoing support to all users. It provides advice to country teams to plan and manage an assessment and it also reviews, approves and publishes assessments that comply with the methodology. Find more about the MAPS initiative on www.mapsinitiative.org. Email us at contact at mapsinitiative.org if you have any questions or want to get started using MAPS in your country. And for all the latest updates, follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn at MAPS Secretariat.